Diane again here. It is day nine of my NaNoWriMo journey. And it's been a hard slog today. I've taken quite a bit of time to do my required word count. I'm at 14,630 words. I have to reach 15,000 today, so it's nine o'clock at night, and I still have 400 words to go. I'll do it, but it's been kind of a rough press. So I thought this evening I would talk about finding inspiration. Now, it's thought that writing is dependent on the muse, and for the most part, well, yes, but to a limit. Professional writers say that you don't wait for the muse to come to you, you come out and you grab it by the hair and you drag it back, right? Um, famous quote by Stephen King says that amateurs wait for inspiration and professionals just go to work. So this is why I've been at the keyboard. But what do you do when inspiration doesn't come to you? Mostly it's a matter of hesitation in a lot of cases. Currently, the scene that I'm working on is the lead up to the final conflict of my story, and I'm still ironing out a couple of details. I'm not sure whether I want my bad guy to get away or not. I'm not sure how I want it to play out exactly. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm wrestling with those things, right? So sometimes it can help to unplug for a while. If you're sitting there and you're staring at your computer and you've been doing that for an hour or two and you've written, you know, five words, go do something else. Don't uh, spend a lot of time, you know, banging your head on it and torturing yourself. Go do some dishes, you know. Stuff that's kind of mindless or stuff that stimulates creativity in other areas. Just don't let the stuff that stimulates creativity in other areas become the the sort the the outlet for the creativity, right? Like I wandered around today and I studied a painting I've been working on mixed media thing that I started doing like a year ago, right? And I haven't done anything with it because I've been writing all year. And all of a sudden I had an idea what I wanted to do with it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to do it now. What I did instead was write down the ideas for what I wanted to do with it and I'll approach it when I'm done NaNoWriMo. Um... However, I did take out my instruments to do my daily practice. I'm currently taking mandolin lessons and I'm teaching myself the gillelele. And um, I'm a guitar player, so it's not like I have no background on this. And I've got to do the practice anyway, so I took it out. But I'm learning uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky because I thought of the, you know, of songs that are suited to my Weird West Chronicles. That's probably one of the best. And it got me thinking about my book again. And now I'm ready to approach it with a different attack. You could also make yourself a playlist and try to capture the mood. If you're going to do that, try to capture the mood of what you're writing um, music that's suitable to the genre of what you're writing. So, you know, if you're doing high fantasy, then I wouldn't recommend a lot of blues, right? If you're doing high fantasy, you might want a mixture of Renaissance fair music and power metal. Like, I think that would work really well. That's probably what I'd be listening to. Um, for the Weird West Chronicles, I made myself a playlist on my YouTube channel, and it's uh, all, like, space western stuff. I've got the Firefly soundtrack on there. I've got the Fallout soundtracks on there. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Juarez, right? All that stuff. I've also got all kinds of uh, spaghetti western music. I've got um, some steampunk stuff, you know, and the rest of it is kind of Americana type music like you might hear on episodes of Supernatural. So, 
you know, it's, uh, and this for me captures the mood. When you're first starting out, don't put a lot of music on there that has lyrics because it could be distracting, right? Um, if you're an artist, you might consider drawing a picture of your main character or drawing yourself a cover image or, you know, creating one in Photoshop. Weirdly, they recommend you upload a cover image for your novel on the NaNoWriMo site, and they say that you are 60% more likely to finish if you do. I think that's interesting. I think that's very interesting. So, you know, you could view it as procrastination, or you could view it as a visualization tool. So, I guess, ultimately, my two recommendations for finding inspiration are, one, if you really can't break through it, if you've been banging your head against the keyboard for two hours and you've written a sentence, go unplug and do something else that's either mindless or something that is related creativity or something that is creative but you know you are only going to do it for a very limited time right that's that's what i think would be my takeaway for this rather rambling thought on inspiration um yeah other ideas for creativity, which I just thought of, right, once in the past, I made a collage of my characters. I got images that I downloaded from, you know, just artists on the internet, and obviously you can't use that officially, but it was very good for my own personal inspiration. I made a collage, I put the collage up on my wall, and that helped me to get a feel for what's going on. Other things I've done is made book trailers. I've made book trailers out of machinima, and for those who are unfamiliar, that is a combination of bits and pieces of other parts of pop culture that you put together to make its own thing. And I put together these book trailers to get an idea of the, uh, you know, the look and feel of the world that I was trying to create, and I found that very helpful. So those are some other ideas for related creativity. What are your ideas? What are ways that you use to find inspiration? Feel free to comment below or make your own response video or, you know, just give me your own opinion. All right, and I'm wandering, so I'm going to call this a night. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.